What's up guys? Welcome back to the Grady Boy YouTube channel. So the plan for the day is to get the Mach 1 bumper on the car. So yeah, luckily my paint guy, body guy, he uh got it fixed, got the paint corrections out of it. Don't look like crap anymore. It's gonna be really fire. So uh yeah, I'm uh let's get started. Alright, so we're gonna pretty much show y'all a full installation and how to take the bumper off too we already got it jacked up because honestly we just he my buddy just helping me we just honestly started working and honestly i forgot i often have to film this so uh we're gonna show y'all exactly how to take off the 2018 through 2023 bumper and pretty much so we're gonna get the straw take taken off all it is is push pin push pin push pin push pin push pin then we got bolts up under here one of them should be a five and a half millimeter and i think the other one's an eight but i'll let you know once we get there and uh yeah we're gonna let's get this all right you can pull um, one of my cables so it is to see how to pull a push pin out i mean i think most people know how to pull push pins out but just in case they don't all you do is pull them and pull out there you go all right so uh let me uh go and get this bash bar off and I'm gonna probably put y'all on a small time lapse. All right, so right here, that was a five and a half and I swear it's a five and a half, but seven millimeter fit, so I was wrong. It's two sevens and I think these are these are eight on my car this is a seven but i swear that it may have got changed out when i hit a deer so yeah so here you go. all you got to do is get these all across i'm gonna grab both of these on top I know y'all probably want to see all this, so whenever I get all these off and we go to the next step, then we'll go back and show y'all. All right, guys, so the other panel that goes inside of here is going to be, we should only have to take out these two right here. And no, 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 yeah, two. It should be that one right there, this one right here, and I think there's one more farther in, but we're trying our best not to take the wheels off because we do not have jack stands. But we'll, I'll let y'all know. Alright guys, so up under here in the wheel well, there's a Christmas tree clip with two, yeah, y'all can kind of see it right there, with uh, two uh, 10 millimeter nuts on it. So it was a big thing with the Gen 2s that when they didn't have the Christmas tree nut right there, they was bad about pretty much coming apart and that was, this always looked like, you know, the front bumper was trash. So that's why on the Gen 3, 2018 and up that put the Christmas tree clips there so we'll get that off and uh we'll resume and let y'all see the rest of it yeah all right so now it's avoiding taking off the 
whole belly pan, we're gonna take off the surrounding nuts around it, which should be what size? Seven, so seven millimeters should be all the way around. All the way around the outside into these areas. And uh, when we get all that off, All right, so we got all the bolts off the bottom. There go my belly pan over there. So we'll make it easier to move it over there. And now he's been, all he has to do is lift up and she comes straight off. Huh? Yeah, yeah we gotta take the plugs off. Off the, uh, uh, what do you call them? The fog lights. So whenever he, uh, yeah. So guys, just don't remember not to rip your fog light plugs out. So what I'm gonna do, they don't, the lines, uh, lines are in here. I'm gonna unplug it real quick. Pick, all right. All right, so he's right now, my buddy's putting all the hardware on there from this bumper to that one. So it can go on. Yep, she's faceless right now, guys. <laughs> it's rad to see this. You can see my uh, ESS intercooler, the G3. So yeah, getting everything swapped over for it. All right, right now, uh, like I said again, I know this video is gonna be a little splotchy at places, but right now, just getting the weather stripping so we put here, so it just won't show white paint the same like a stock weather stripping. That's all it is, just these little yellow pieces. And they'll go in these holes right here, and you know, right there, and all the way across. So, yeah. All right, and then, one second, it goes down. And like that, and they just click them down. No, there's not one there. We gotta take that one out. Just take it. We gotta take this one right here out. And direct middle. There's not one right there. Simple as that. All right, weather stripping zone. We got everything, the, uh, what do you call them? The fog lights moved over. We understand the wiring for the lights. And, uh, oh, now we have to put on that over there, which that will be the under tray for it. We're gonna go ahead and attach the under tray to the actual bumper. And we should be good to go, y'all. Okay, so uh, we didn't got the bumper pretty much all mocked up. Every fitting put on from the old bumper that needs to be there. So we're gonna mock up to get the lights to run for the bumper. And once we get the lights mocked up to where they're gonna go to, then we'll be good to go. We'll get the bumper back on the car. Like I said, again, we're trying to keep y'all involved as we can because I don't really want y'all to miss any steps just in case you're needing the same help. But you know, you get wrapped up with working and you totally forget that you're supposed to have a camera up. So yeah, we'll get it guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show y'all the bumper from EOS Extreme Online Store. Guys, I, I'm, I'm I, I really, you really can't beat it. Uh, I'm happy with it. That's exactly what I wanted. It gives me the more look. So uh, further, no further ado, let me uh, turn the camera around and let y'all see. So, let me know what y'all think, but it totally changes the look of Jet. So, uh, the lights are wired in, they do turn on. Uh, if you can tell, I went with gloss black double lip, gloss black grill, all of them around. You can even see <laughs> my uh, EOS cold air intake to the supercharger down there. I'm really loving it. So, uh, I'm gonna go probably clean it up because it got you know handprints and everything dust all on it. Clean it up and uh we'll get you some beauty shots of it. 
Uh, probably get my boy in a minute to even get a rolling shot of it, so we'll just let y'all see it. So uh, stay tuned and find out more about it. And uh, like I said again, that's a big thank you to Extreme Online Store, EOS, for coming through for your boy. All I had, all they, all I had to do was ask. They said, "What do you want?" I was like, "Send me the Mach One bumper." After everything else they sent me, with no reason, the bumper was, the bumper was already sent. I think, I think I asked for the bumper, and he had it to me in a week. Uh, yeah, it wasn't long. Now the long process did happen with pain because yeah, they messed up the first coat of paint on it, but they got it right. Uh, Let's go get it clean and let's get y'all some uh, beauty shots. All right, guys, we done made it to uh, my little quick spot. Like, as y'all know, the first video I ever made for this car. So, uh, finna get a couple little shots for y'all for a B roll and shots. So, like I said again, I am happy with the outcome. So, yeah. Okay, y'all. Uh, but also, let me go and let y'all know before, give y'all some B roll. Fitment, I will give it a nine out of 10. It fit really good. Only problem I had with Fitment is since I have an ESS supercharger, the cold air intake that sits directly down there in that hole, uh, the, what do you call it? The fog light, new bracket that holds it up, kind of pushes it, but that's not a big problem. It, it's gonna clearance itself. It's not really affecting the drive of the ESS or it's not really affecting anything to do with the car so that's good the look of it menacing like <laughs> that's <laughs> menacing uh i'm really in love with it uh the actual materials for it i give that a 9.5 out of 10 like i'm talking about ford style quality but uh yeah guys i love it clear the b-roll Okay guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. Please let me know how Jet looking back there. Let me know y'all thoughts on it. My bad, I got choked up for a second. And a special thanks to EOS Extreme Online Store for hooking your boy up with the bumper. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. Man, and can't beat the quality. Please y'all go check out EOS Online. Please look at their shop. They got some crazy parts for your S550 Mustang. They got parts for every, actually, car. But if you're probably on this channel, you're probably looking at S550 Mustang. So y'all go check out Extreme Online Store and uh, go copy some. Thanks for watching Great Boy YouTube channel. We out. I can do